An implosion occurs when a submarine descends deeper than its design depth capacity, due to increased water pressure. The pressure change is more than what the substructure can hold, leading to implosion. Immediately, the pressure inside the sub and outside becomes equal, pushing the hull inward. The sub will then deform inwards, as the water pressure compresses the air inside. The result of this process is rapid and uncontrolled collapse of the submarine, leading to destruction of the hull. The intense pressure of the collapsing hull can result in some parts being ejected, creating a shock wave. This is followed by an enormous water bubble created due to the pressure differential. The bubble bursts, releasing a huge surge of water onto the imploded vessel. The force of the water crashing on the hull will cause significant damage and render the equipment inside the sub useless. The implosion will also cause a sharp decrease in air pressure outside the sub, which increases the risk of eardrum and lung damage for nearby personnel. The sound generated by the imploding hull is highly destructive and can cause significant damage to ships and marine creatures in the vicinity. The water pressure also increases around the imploded sub, creating a vacuum which can suck in and crush other vessels. The implosion of a submarine can also trigger an avalanche of sediment from the seafloor, which can cause further damage to the sub and other vessels. The explosion created by the imploded submarine can also result in columns of seawater shooting up, which could be hazardous to passing ships or smaller vessels. The implosion of a submarine is a catastrophic event, which typically results in the loss of life and a substantial amount of debris. The imploded sub's debris can create a navigation hazard, impacting ships and marine life in the area. The rapid decrease in atmospheric pressure outside the imploded sub also increases the risks of decompression sickness for personnel in the vicinity. The implosion of the submarine creates a ripple effect on the marine environment with physical, chemical and biological changes resulting in degraded water quality and reduced oxygen levels. The implosion also causes an increase in turbidity, which can reduce the amount of light reaching the seafloor, resulting in reduced photosynthesis. The underlying cause of the implosion must be studied and analyzed to prevent similar incidents from occurring in the future. Potentially hazardous materials must also be removed from the imploded sub before it is towed away or disposed of. Implosions can be regarded as the most destructive force encountered by subs, capable of destroying the vessel and endangering personnel in a matter of moments. The implosion of a sub can be extremely difficult to respond to due to the extreme depths it occurs in and the difficulty in reaching the remains. Implosions take place quickly and require immediate response from nearby personnel to prevent the situation from becoming more dangerous. The implosion of a sub can also cause the release of hazardous substances from within, which can cause further damage to the marine environment, 